All right, welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Today we have another Jurassic Park roller coaster update from Islands of Adventure. All these photos are th thanks to Bio Reconstruct, which does amazing work. <laughs> he sends our uh, sends video pictures of all construction updates and aerials, aerials and on the ground shots. <laughs> Help all uh, theme parks, East Coast and West Coast. Definitely follow Bio Reconstruct on Twitter. <laughs> As you can see, we have an over-the-lake viewer, a kind of wide view of the coaster under construction. And coming up to this amazing aerial shot here from BioReconstruct, here's just kind of an overview of the entire uh, layout of the Jurassic Park uh, coaster. You see there's a, on towards the left side, there's kind of some, sh the one so show scene being uh, constructed. And then over the lake, it's just more just open coaster track, the 540. Um, turn has been completed. Another aerial showing another uh, from the, oh I don't know, someone correct me if I'm wrong down below, this might be the south side of the park, um, showing you that kind of launch and the kind of show scenes and how it's, um, how it's kind of very compact the coaster towards when you're on land, but it's kind of more spaced out when you're heading out over the lake area. As we move on here towards a closer look at the launch tunnel of what uh, will be launch tunnel, we'll see it's a multi-level coaster, as you see, and you can definitely see some inversions. Our first inversions. There's a couple over the lake, and there's a, I think an Emmelman right there, um, right by on, to the far to the left, right by those steel cages, and we'll have a closer look at that or uh, one of the inversions that you can see as you're walking from the path right now. As you can see, look at that. I mean, that's a pretty pretty tight inversion, and it'll be a pretty intense coaster. I, I wonder what the top speed of this thing will be. I'd say maybe about 70 miles per hour. It has to go clear a top hat. But I feel like about 70 miles per hour be quite, I have definitely a, quite a few inversions. I think at least five. Let's see, I think I count two over the lake. This one here, there'll be uh, one more in this area. Definitely four to five inversions. If, if everyone has the um, correct amount, definitely comment it below. Like for the statistics, statistics of the coaster. Here's another lovely overhead shot by by reconstruct and you can see the steel cages or the steel rebar is being uh, steel frame. Sorry, <laughs> are being put up for that one and only show scene. The con the completed concrete uh, is the maintenance bay, but also I think the entrance or the loading station for the attraction I believe um, and here it is more a deeper look into uh, actually the maintenance bay is, might be what's under construction because there's some tracks lots of different tracks mm, actually no I don't think so my bad I'm so sorry guys because <laughs> I see the top hat element and it looks like the, the there's a kind of a an inversion entrance and you just kind of go into that cage right there so it's definitely a show scene being constructed there's a lot of just a lot of stuff happening over here it's a very like I said very compact coaster but there's a lot of stuff happening and more track for the top hat has been um put up as you, see, you launch right out of whatever show scene that is and then you go right into the top hat and over the lake and you can see on the bottom right corner of the image that barrel roll over the lake right under right above the yellow pipes or wiring or what is it whatever that is and here's another vertical shot on the ground from the uh for the top hat element of the attraction you see half of it's done but still it's quite a few feet to go the well all the way to the top of that uh the support is where the top hat will end and then it'll be coming back down and zooming into the 540 element, which is right over here. And you see there's kind of like a, a top gun stall, I believe, right to the uh, on the outermost track for the Yon 540. Then you go into the innermost track of that 540 helix type of section right there. And then head into the barrel roll in the back over to the loading station or the, that interior section of 
the ride reel through even more inversions. So it's definitely about four to five inversions or possibly more in this attraction, which is this will be the perfect attraction for people missing the five inversions of Dragon Challenge, the two inverted coasters. <laughs> they will get uh, quite a few inversions here as well. Plus, it should be a beautiful ride along the lake. And here's the last photo, just the overhead shot of the lake area and how it interacts with Hogsmeade. Look again, look how close to the three broomsticks uh, outdoor seating area that uh, the 540 el helix element or 540 turn <laughs> element is going to be. There's rumors that might put up some walls. I mean, if you want to keep the immersion, you'll definitely have to. <laughs> also, <laughs> who wants to be eating, especially in social distancing? A lot of people will have to be eating outdoors. And I'm not sure how pleasant it will be with a coaster roaring by you. Not once, but twice every couple of minutes. Uh, people may enjoy that. I honestly, if I was out there, I'd, I I love watching roller coasters. So I'd totally probably enjoy watching that Jurassic Park coaster roar past me every couple of minutes. Um, and seeing it go through its elements along the lake. But some people may not like that. So I wonder if they'll try to... And also, that well, technically, you know, breaks the immersion of Hogsmeade. <laughs> but, um, well, at, at least they're trying to make the per coaster low. That's like, it's again, that's the lowest point. One of the lowest points. The lowest point actually may be that launch. Now that I'm looking at it, the launch segment into the top end, maybe the lowest point of the coaster. But one of the lowest points of the coaster is that 540 element right by the three broomsticks <laughs> to try to keep as much immersion as possible. What do you guys think of these new images of the Jurassic Park coaster? We're getting towards the finish line. It's going to open next, hopefully open spring of summer next year. But we're getting at least towards the finish line of the track being installed. Looks like almost all of it, I had said, at least on, at least on the lake part, almost just about all of it's been done. Just the top hat and then whatever inversions or whatever track is going on the inside is next. And I mean, that's almost done as or at least halfway looks halfway done as well but are you excited for on his adventure to get a thrilling coaster to make up for the demolishing of dragon challenge and are you excited that it's raptor themed and what do you think of the name Veloc the rumor name sorry Velocicoaster I think it's great I hope Universal doesn't change it I know they filed a trademark or uh, patent or trademark for it um but I mean they can always following for something else so I hope they don't though um, and Universal probably will officially announce it sometime next year so probably will be quite a few months before we actually get an announcement with the name of this coaster let me know your thoughts and comments below subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates more updates on this coaster and other Universal projects Universal Studios Hollywood hopefully it will um, they want to reopen July 1st hopefully they'll get approval to do that if so I'll be right about at the park getting a sequel of pets off lease off the leash 4k pov as well as the jurassic world post refurb pov and other updates along the park with uh mario kart super nintendo world updates and halloween horror nights construction so subscribe for all that if you're excited for if you're interested in that otherwise i hope everyone is having a happy father's day and i hope you guys had a great day and a great weekend and as always have a fantastic